you're new to the villages, you haven't been out much, you're just a part-timer, you're down here a month, a year, or something like that, the villages can be an overwhelming uh, place to be and very confusing in many ways, especially getting away, getting around the village, because the villages is a very, very large place. So what's the answer to that? Well, get yourself a map. Go down to uh, any one of the sales office, I believe, and uh, I got this one on Lake Sumter Landing. They gave me this beautiful map. But even this, if you're new especially, is a bit confusing. So let me break it down to four roads, let's say. Four roads in the villages. If you know these four roads, you're going to have it made. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This shows you the central area of the villages here and goes all the way up to the Florida Turnpike down here, or all the way down to the Florida Turnpike, and it goes all the way up to County Road 42. But, as I told you, I just want you to concentrate on four roads, and this will really help. The first road, and by the way, this is north, this is south, and this is west, and this is east. Okay. And, uh, the two roads I'm going to talk about, this one right here, this one right here, going north and south. This is Morse Boulevard, starts here on 441 slash 27, and it starts right here and comes down like this, comes down like this and hits 44. And there's something else going across here, but uh, we'll just say it ends right here at Morse Boulevard. Same thing for Buena Vista. It comes down here like this. This road right here comes down here like this. And it ends at State Road 44 right there. So we have this road and this road. Two kind of parallel roads going down the villages from north to south. Now the two roads going the other way, you can probably pick them out. Look, right here and right here. This is Country Road 466, and this is Country Road 466A. And they're moving from west to east, okay? So if you look at this, let me give you a little quiz. Let's see how, do you, let's see how, well, you're do, how well you're doing. This road is Morse Boulevard, very good. And this road here is Buena Vista, very good. This road here is Country Road 466, and this is good. Country Road 466A. So now you got the two, the two north and south roads, and the two west, west to east roads. From there, we look at some of the outlying roads. Let's stop at the top. Start at the top here, and uh, Country Road 42 uh, at the northernmost part of the villages. Um, you could take this road up that way. You could actually go to Orlando that way. You can go to Daytona that way. Uh, going the other way, you could go to Bellevue. Uh, you can go to Ocala, too. So this is one of the roads, and you notice that, um, well, Morse almost connects to it pretty close, but Buena Vista does come to uh, Country Road 42. Out on the outskirts here, we have Highway 301, which runs along the outskirts of the villages here. And um, this one uh, you could take into Bellevue also, and you could take it up to Ocala going this way, coming down this way. You could go all the way out to the National Cemetery and a lot of other places. By the way, if you, uh, and if you took 44 all the way west, you could go all the way out to the west coast. And if you went east, you could end up in Leesburg and further parts east, but this is, this is a good road to take to Leesburg. So, that's my story and I'm sticking to it, and I hope that uh, this is somewhat helpful to you to kind of get yourself grounded as to where everything goes here in the villages, because it can be a little confusing. The next thing I'm going to show you is the full map that I didn't, that I held up in the beginning, and uh, we'll take a little look at that. And I'm also going to show you, as a little bonus, and I'm going to show you how the um, how the uh, cell phone app works that uh, will help you get around to all the places here in the villages. So here's a larger view of the villages with a bigger map. 
And let's get our bearings. Here's 42 up here. Okay. And let's see. Here is Buena Vista. I'll follow it with my pencil. So you can see Buena Vista. And it doesn't go all the way down to Brownwood. So this is only like the upper two-thirds of the map. And Morse Boulevard starts right here at this roundabout. And, well, actually, I think it starts right about here. This is 441 and 27. You come down here and you can swing right in here. That's a long way to go, but you could do it that way. Morse Boulevard goes right down here. Keeps going. And this is Lake Sumter Landing right here. Okay. So you go by right Lake Sumter Landing. You keep going straight. And you go way down here. And I'm going to turn the map around and show you what the rest of it is. And uh, let's see what else am I... Oh, Spanish Springs is uh, right there. Here's Moose Boulevard. Here's Spanish Springs. All right. And where is 466? 466 in big letters is right here. It's going all the way over here. Takes you into Lady Lake. And we can't even see 466A yet. We've got to get down a little lower to see that. So now we finally get down here a little bit. We go back... We go by um, Lake Sumter Landing, and here's Buena Vista coming down this way, and it finally ends down here at uh, 44, right there. Okay, and here's Morse Boulevard. It comes down here, and it stops at State Road 44, right here. Here's Brownwood or Paddock Square, right here. All right, now. Like I told you before, once we go over State Road 44, everything down this way is all new. Some of this is original uh, development here, but everything down in here is all new, and it goes quite a ways down. So I hope that gives you a little bit of an overlook of the villages on the map. These maps, by the way, you can get at any... Um, sales uh, office here in the villages. I got this at Lake Sumter Landing at the sales office in the center of Lake Sumter Landing. And they were very nice, gave me a map and lots of information. They're very helpful. So uh, let's go now and I'll show you what the app looks like. Here's the app. Click on the app. Villages, GPS, runs nice. Here are all the different places you can go. Let's pick a uh, Let's see, let's go to golf courses, and we'll pick championship, and let's say we pick uh, Cane Garden. I can call them, I can share it, want to send somebody an email, say where we're going for golf, make it a favorite. Here's the big thing. Distance is 6.6 .6 miles and time required, oh boy, 44 minutes. And directions. So if I put on the directions like this, the red lines, you don't want to go on them, and the blue lines, you can go on those. They're okay. If you have a um, any idea where you're going, <clears throat> especially if you don't have any, any idea where you're going, this is very, very helpful. Uh, now, if you have a street legal golf cart, there might be some exceptions, but most people do not, do not have street legal because it, it's about almost another thousand dollars just for insurance. So anyway, I'm going to hit start. I have two modes. I can use the standard, which is the map mode, and the hybrid, which looks, looks like a uh, satellite. You can have either. I'll show you. That looks like satellite, and that's a standard. Okay, hit start. And it goes to my house. It knows where I am. And it tells me it's going to take 44 minutes. I should get there around 421 this afternoon. Uh, also, I can make the map. Whoop, I can make the map larger. Or, you know, I can zoom in and zoom out if I want to. I can really. There's a whole. There's a whole route right there. That's a whole route. But I can zoom in, and uh, once I start going here, it'll start. Whoop, it'll start. Uh, it'll start going along and show me exactly where I'm going. It's pretty cool. It works really well. I've used it many times. I went way out to Brownwood, which was a long, long ride, and it took me just exactly where I wanted to go. 
tells me eight tenths of a mile, I'm going to take a right in Oak Forest Drive. It's pretty nice. It, it works really well. So I'm very happy with that. Um, let's go back and see what else we have here. That's golf courses. Let's uh, take a look at swimming pools. I think there's at least 80. Uh, let me just spin you through these. I mean, we're talking a lot of... These are swimming pools in the villages. So, I mean, there's a lot of... There's a good discussion about whether you should build a swimming pool at your house or not. And there's a lot of good reasons just to use one of the 80 swimming pools all around the villages here, or rather than spend the money on a swimming pool. But uh, the people like their own pool. It depends on your own personal choice. All right, so that's it. And uh, again, this is a free app. You can download it, put it on your phone anytime you want to. And I hope you enjoyed this explanation of how the major roadways form a grid to help you orientate yourself here in the villages. Again, the free app is called Villages GPS. It'll show you your route to any destination in the villages, either by car or golf cart. And thanks for watching the video, and I hope you're having a great day.